Hi, my name's Sophie Scott and I'm Professor of Cognitive Neuroscience at the Institute of Cognitive Neuroscience at University College London. What's round and sounds like a trumpet? A crumpet. This lab is the speech communication group and we look basically at human vocal behaviour and how that relates to brain function. I've always been very interested in speech and sound and, and the more I looked at the emotional expressions the more interested I was in them and these, these sorts of things like laughs and screams there's actually much less research into them. So what this is, is a breath belt and we're going to use it to put around Sam's chest. So what this gives us, if we look here on this screen, is this, that belt has just got a little sensor in it that's detecting movement as Sam's chest wall is expanding. So here you can see he's breathing that's in breathing normally. So that's the intercostal muscles just going in and out, drawing air into the lungs. So if we have a go at tickling Sam vigorously, what you'll see <laughs> is he starts laughing. <laughs> and you see, you see very, very rapid movements and these big deflections. So you suddenly start to get this sort of, instead of these rather smooth, large movements, these very, 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 very quick deflections as these spasms occur. That's essentially associated with quite a lot of exercise, so you get some of the benefits of laughter. The, the feelings you get from laughter are from an exercise high. You get that same kick that you get from any, doing any kind of physical exercise. 